In 1978, America struck gold for the first time at the World Gymnastics Championships when Americans Kurt Thomas and Marsha Frederick finished first in individual disciplines. Two years ago, Kim Zemeskel became the first American to win a gold in the women's all-around. Now, Shannon Miller has moved front and center in her quest to win American gold, today at the World Gymnastics Championships from Birmingham, England. The main goal I have is hitting my routines because I know if I do my job, then whatever happens, I'll feel like a winner. Spanning the globe to bring you the constant variety of sport. The thrill of victory. And the agony of defeat. The human drama of athletic competition. This is ABC's Wide World of Sport. The familiar faces of the sport are gone. World champion Svetlana Boganskaya, the reigning Olympic champion Tatiana Gutsu, both products of a past Soviet dynasty. Hungary's greatest gymnast, Henrietta Anodi. And Kim Zemeskel, America's first and only world all-around champion. We say goodbye to old friends and welcome new champions. At age 15, Shannon Miller did what no American gymnast had ever done before. She won five Olympic medals in a non-boycotted games and has emerged as the number one ranked gymnast in the world today. But can Shannon continue? Those inside the sport know how difficult that is. Can she win the one medal she doesn't have? One that is gold. Welcome to the 1993 World Gymnastics Championships from Birmingham, England. Today, it's the women's all-around competition. Hello everyone, I'm Julie Moran and it is a big day for U.S. women's gymnastics. Out of 97 athletes representing 45 countries, America's Shannon Miller has qualified in first place with Dominique Dawes, also of the U.S., in the third spot. And joining me now is Kathy Johnson. And Kathy, what are the chances for another American all-around world champion? Shannon Miller could very readily walk away with a world all-around title. She's that much better than everyone in the competition. In fact, I haven't seen a gymnast with a better chance to win a major competition since Nadia Komanich in 1976. And to say Shannon doesn't have a weak event is an understatement. She won every single event in the preliminaries. She's the most well-prepared gymnast and the most consistent gymnast here. I would be very surprised if another gymnast could put together four events as well as Shannon. And also with us is Bart Connor. And Bart, who poses the greatest threat to Shannon? Well, actually, only if Shannon Miller makes a mistake could she open the door to some of her competitors here, like the Romanians, Gina Gogian or Lavinia Milosevic, who won two gold medals last summer at the Olympics in Barcelona. Also, let's watch for Dominique Dawes from the United States. She lived up to her reputation as Awesome Dawson. She was great in the preliminaries, and if she's on today, she could medal as well. And here's 16-year-old Dominique Dawes from Silver Springs, Maryland, in the first of four rotations where the women will compete on the vault, the uneven bars, balance beam, and floor exercise. And Kathy, she really impressed the judges in the preliminaries. She certainly did, and surprisingly, she competed in the early rounds when scores are typically much lower. The best part of Dominique's bar routine comes up after her first release move. Right here, up rise up to handstand. Now watch this skill. One and a half twist right here to an underswing handstand. Nice combination. There's a new scoring system in place that we'll talk about all throughout the competition and it requires a higher level of difficulty. Just like that dismount, that's a D element. We'll talk about Ds and Es throughout the meet and they're really necessary for the scores to be up in the 9, 8 to 10 0 range. And Kathy, as you mentioned with the new rules, this combination that Dominique does is very important. This is the one and a half turn on the top bar, and the transition to the low bar is critical that she finishes in a handstand. Really well done. The dismount was a double back with a full twist. Good start for Dominique. 
And Dominique's score on the bars, a 9.762. Our next competitor, Gina Gojian from Romania, and like Dominique, has come a long way in a year's time. She won the silver medal at the European Championships last year. And one point we have to make with the new scoring system, we're going to see lower scores here than we're accustomed to. Her vault is a year. Chinko laid out with a full twist. Now, in the new code of points, that vault is worth a 9.8. And that was certainly close to perfect. But the maximum score that that vault can score now is a 9.8. Kathy, she got a tremendous push off the horse, didn't she? Good block right there, just like you said. Most impressive was the position in the air, the laid out position and flare position before she lands. Gina Gojian's score on her first vault, a 9.7. One of the many changes in the new scoring system that will probably have a huge impact on the outcome of competition is on the vault. They still perform two vaults, but instead of counting the best score of the two, they now have to average both scores. And that puts a lot of pressure to stick both vaults. She's performing the same vault again. Beautiful job. Actually, much better because of the landing. On the first landing, she landed with her feet just slightly apart and enclosed her feet. She landed with them perfectly together. And Kathy, you made a great point that the new rules are critical in this event especially because under the old rules, you could get lucky and stick one vault. Under these rules, they both have to have very strong landings like this one. And Gojian's second vault score, a 9737 for an average score of 9718. And coming up, the most medaled American athlete from the Barcelona Games, Shannon Miller, looking for her first world title. It all begins with little feet taking little steps. Tiny hands, yet untested. In gyms all over the world, there are smiling young faces, eagerly awaiting their next turn to stand on their hands, run and jump, and fly through the air. Their legs aren't straight yet and their toes aren't pointed. But somewhere amid all the smiles, giggles, and floppy ponytails, in a place where even falling down can be fun, lies talent. The bright young star of the Russian team is our next competitor, and Kathy Oksana Fabrishnova started gymnastics at age four and a half. And Julie, I think she needed to start that early to learn the dismount that she's performing in this routine. No one else in the competition is doing it. It's the most difficult dismount I've seen. Now watch this series right here. Giant with a full turn and another one all going in the opposite direction and she goes right into a release move. Now here comes that dismount. It's two flips and two twists. Unbelievably difficult. Amazing technique allowing her to finish two flips and two twists before she lands. Next on the bars, our first look at Shannon Miller. Earlier this week, she talked to Kathy. Coming into this competition, you were most people's favorite to win. Now, after winning the preliminary so decisively, you're everyone's favorite to win the competition. Do you like that feeling? Um, yeah, it's different than before the Olympics. I was always the underdog going in. But um, it's nice because it gives me a little bit more confidence going in, but I still have to hit my routines and train hard for them. Confidence seems like your trademark. Uh, once again, you proved to be the most consistent gymnast here, just like in Barcelona where you hit every single event perfectly. Is that kind of another goal of yours, kind of on the side besides winning medals and winning competitions? Yeah, it is. The main goal I have is hitting my routines because I know if I do my job, then whatever happens, I'll feel like a winner. Well, Shannon certainly should feel like a winner. Her second place finish at the 92 Olympics was the highest all-around finish by an American woman at those games. But this 16-year-old from Edmond, Oklahoma, is still looking for gold, and she has a great chance here today. When we were talking before the competition, Bart. She has an extraordinary bar routine. Lots of difficulty, 
and a nice variety of different types of skills. Beautiful combination coming up here. Watch this, full over the bar, right into another release move. Comes her second release move, reverse hecht. Beautifully done. And she's changed her dismount since Barcelona. Upgraded, this is an E dismount, highest level of difficulty. Ooh! Double layout with a little hop on the landing. And preliminaries, she stuck that so well. Kathy, what will that hop on the landing cost her? It's just a tenth of a point for the hop, but for Shannon, it's so uncharacteristic for her to not stick her landings, I think it's especially disappointing. This is a critical combination in the routine because not only are these two moves highly difficult individually, but she gets bonus points for connecting that full turn right into this release move. Bonus points for the connection of the two moves. And she also gets more bonus points for doing these highly difficult skills like the double layout at the end of the routine. And unfortunately, just took that little hop. And Shannon score a 9825, good enough to put her in the lead for the moment. And next on the beam, one of the veterans of the Chinese team, 18-year-old Li Li, was part of the 92 Olympic team that finished fourth in Barcelona. And Kathy, she's really known for this beam routine. And it's because she has so many special moves in this routine. Watch this mount. Right out of the handstand, she lifts one arm and does a full turn all the way down to the beam. And one aspect of the new scoring system has really worked to the advantage of the Chinese gymnasts who perform such difficult elements of dance. Watch this jump. She arches back in the air and takes her eyes completely off the balance beam. It's highly risky. And now they really get credit for doing that. Two layouts on this side. beautifully done. Here's another one of those jumps. This time with straight legs. That's called a Yang bow, and it was invented by a teammate of hers. This is always a crowd favorite. Back handspring going sideways on the balance beam, hip circle around. And this is spectacular. Backspin. She's so creative on the balance beam, showing so many different elements. The dismount is a round off double back. It's one of the weaker dismounts in the competition. Oh, and a big step forward. But everything else in the routine was really spectacular. <laughs> you think that smile is one of happiness or just relief she got through that really difficult routine? Probably both. As much as I love the routine, she did have that step on the landing. Well, it's clear the judges love that routine. Even with the step, her score, a 9837. That puts her in first place after the first rotation. Shannon Miller in the second spot. Dominique Dawes in third. A big story at these World Championships is this young lady right here, Dominique Dawes, currently in third after the first rotation. And earlier this week, she spoke with Bart. Let's talk a little bit about what you're thinking as you're going into this competition tonight. I just want to think what I did in prelims, just to do my best and have fun and hit for four for four, and it doesn't matter. Um, I really want to turn it out, hopefully in the top, but if it doesn't happen, I'll be fine. A very positive attitude from a young lady who in the Olympic year lived with her coach Kelly Hill, but now she's back home with her parents Don and Loretta and her younger brother Don who's autistic and one of the most important people in her life. Do you think about him when you're at competitions like this? Well, when I'm at competitions, um, I sometimes get homesick and this is one of the first times I've been and I'm thinking about my family right now, but I mean, I just try to block that out and just think about my routines and then once I get home I'll spend time with them. And here's Dominique on the beam. Her routine is packed full of difficulty. Even so, she had to adjust her routine just a little bit to accommodate the new code of points. And try and start with a score of 10 in terms of the value of the routine. One of the combination that she hopes to earn bonus points with. 
Here's her most difficult tumbling pass. Three layout step outs in a row. Well done. That pass right there earned her two tenths of a point in bonus. The music you hear is from the floor exercise, which is going on adjacent to the balance beam. A gymnast can earn up to six tenths of a point bonus, and one way they can earn it is performing additional D and E elements. Right here, that's a D element, a front somersault, and you only need one as your basic requirement, so anything above and beyond can be bonus points. Watch this dismount combination. She tumbles all the way down the length of the balance beam to a full twisting double back. Little hop on the landing, but a very, very difficult dismount. Only a few gymnasts in this competition are performing a full twist in their double back somersault. Her heart has got to be pounding. Here's her three layout step outs. Everyone has to be dead center over the balance beam. Great dismount pass. So much power in this gymnast. Very risky routine and it paid off. Dominique score a solid 9775. And our next competitor, Romania, is Jojian in fourth after the first rotation. And Jean is a little weak on this event, though. Give her reverse hect. Now she's going to repeat the same skill again. Right there. She has a big dismount, double layout. This is the best part of the routine. Very difficult dismount. Difficult moves, part of a complex sport that requires so very much from these young athletes. In pursuit of gymnastics glory, perfection is the ultimate goal. So during the solitary hours of training, gymnasts perform endless repetitions to master even the most basic skills and make them seem effortless and flawless. Over and over again, the gymnast fine-tunes every aspect of every single skill. And at the end of the day, when the body can toil no longer, comes rest and mental imagery. We are in the second rotation of the women's all-around. Shannon Miller is in second after the first rotation, and Shannon has scored two perfect tens in her career. Both have been on the beam. This is a great event for Shannon. She is very consistent. She has a very high level of difficulty. In fact, she introduced a new move here for the Federation of International Gymnastics Women's Technical Committee to evaluate. They gave it an E rating, and it's now called the Miller. Gina Gojian's score earlier on the bars, a 9812. comes her two layouts right here <gasps> a little bobble on the landing very uncharacteristic now here's the Miller a pants from quarter turn to a half turn and down she looks just a little bit nervous normally she takes that skill right to a handstand and she rushed it just a little Yeah. 
She also performs the full twisting double back. Very difficult dismount. <gasps> Large stumbles back. Oh, no. I think this was nerves. We did not see this at all during the preliminary competition. She was near perfect on every single event. Too high, you know, a little too high. You gotta make sure you're tighter, okay? And let's not have Start any more options. Okay. It's good. Start off good. You're gonna have to be tighter on the floor. And as you could hear, balance beam coach Peggy Liddick said it started off really well, and she got a little cautious, and the back handsprings were a little bit off, and it made this layout step out off to the side. And she had a really unusual problem on this dismount. She actually did it too well. As Steve Nuno said, it's too high, and she misjudged the landing. And Shannon Miller score a 9.625. That drops her from second to fourth place. Of all the top gymnasts here, Tatiana Lysenko from the Ukraine has had the most experience. She was the gold medalist at the World Cup in 1990, but Kathy, since the World Cup, she's always had bad luck and costly mistakes in major competitions. She was one of the favorites to win the all-around at both the World Championships and the Olympic Games, and as you said, just bad luck. But right now, she is off to a great start, a very difficult opening tumbling run. I think so many of her fans were relieved at the Olympics in Barcelona when she finally won a gold medal on the balance beam after all the bad luck she has had in all-around competitions. She has changed her last two tumbling runs since the Olympic Games and really to fulfill the requirements in the new code of points. This is a two and a half twist right into a punch front somersault. She traveled too far out and took a step out of bounds. That mistake is so reminiscent of many of her mistakes in the past. You know, it's only a tenth of a point to step out of bounds and a tenth of a point for the step. That could mean the difference. And a new trend in women's gymnastics, more front tumbling, front with a full twist. But unfortunately, even though we've seen Shannon Miller falter as well, that step out of bounds could prove very costly. Is history repeating itself for Tatiana Lysenko? Perhaps, there's no question she was very unlucky in this movement here. It's the back flip with two and a half twists to the punch front, and she steps forward and to the side, and you'll notice in the right-hand corner, the red flag from the line judge signals that she's out of bounds. Lasinko score a 9.75. It would have been a 9.85 if she hadn't stepped out of bounds, though it does put her ahead of Shannon Miller for the moment. And while Lasinko was on the floor, Romania's Lavinia Milosevic was on the balance beam, and this 16-year-old was the bronze medalist in the all-around at the Barcelona Olympic Games. She's already opened up with a difficult element in the mount. This is a pass that she's changed since Barcelona. She used to do two layouts. Now watch this. She does a layout and goes into a back handspring. Oh, oh no. A simpler move. Unfortunately, she fell. That's five tenths of a point off for the fall. That'll totally take her out of the running here in the all-around. The competition is so close. Keep in mind, this gymnast finished second in preliminary, so she was really one of the favorites. It's interesting talking to her coach, Octavian Bellu. She's a much different young lady than we saw a year ago. She's four or five inches taller. She's been touring, doing exhibitions, and making commercials, and making money. And her mentality and focus is a little different. Still, the Romanians are among the best teams in the world and expected to be one of the teams to beat at the Atlanta Olympics in 96. Where's your dismount? Round off, tuck double back, good landing. But as you said, that fall and the five-tenths of a point deduction will completely take her out of the competition. 
So let's look at the standings after two rotations. Dominique Dawes has moved from third all the way to first place. Gina Gojian in second, a tie for third place. And in a field that's extremely close, Shannon Miller is in fifth place, but still less than a tenth of a point away from her teammate, Dominique Dawes, who's looking quite confident. And we'll have more from the World Gymnastics Championships when we return later on Wide World of Sports. Welcome back to the World Gymnastics Championships for the Women's All-Around Competition. I'm Julie Moran, and after two rotations, Dominique Dawes is in the lead with Shannon Miller in fifth place. And Kathy Johnson, how do you assess her performance so far? Julie, it's obvious. Shannon Miller is very nervous, and that's understandable. Everyone here expects her to win because she was so superior in the preliminary competition. More important than that, I think Shannon expected herself to be perfect, and she's really trying to be perfect. And sometimes that makes you tight, too nervous and competition and you're trying too hard. I think that's what's happening. And also with us, Bart Connor. Bart, what a surprise Dominique Dawes has been today. And Dominique got off to a terrific start in her first two events, the bars and the balance beam. Her best two events are coming up, the floor and the vault. Now keep in mind, Shannon Miller is only a tenth of a point out of first place, so anything can happen still. And here is Gina Gojian of Romania, currently in second place, halfway through the competition. She mounts the balance beam with a front flip Solid landing. The music you hear is from the floor exercise, which is adjacent to the balance beam. Remember, the four events that make up the all-around happen simultaneously. This is very similar to her mount. It's another front flip. We're really seeing a resurgence of front tumbling both on balance beam and floor exercise because they've upgraded those skills in this new scoring system. Keep in mind, the gymnasts really want to earn those bonus points. Now watch this pass. Back handspring to a layout and to another back handspring. It's really much simpler than some of the passes we've seen that earn the same amount of bonus points, so you can't blame the gymnast for doing the less risky one. Basically, there are six-tenths of a point bonus that the gymnast can earn, so the routines can be worth anywhere from a 9-4 to a 10 based on their level of difficulty. So in other words, it determines the starting value of the routine, which is crucial to the final score. Here's her dismount pass. She tumbles down the balance beam with two back handsprings. Into a tuck double back. Oh, and one step on the landing. Step will be a tenth of a point deduction. And she didn't quite have the level of difficulty to get all the bonus points. Coming up, the pride and joy of Edmond, Oklahoma, Shannon Miller. And Shannon has emerged as the number one ranked gymnast in the world today. Here's ABC's Marianne Grabavoy. <laughs> Where the wind comes sweeping down the plain And the waving wheat can sure smell sweet When the wind comes right behind the rain Fifty years ago, Rogers and Hammerstein wrote that Oklahomans belong to the land. If they were right, then Shannon Miller is pure salt of the earth, feet firmly planted. That's the essence of this tiny 16-year-old schoolgirl blessed with a giant talent. Shannon Miller, star of Edmond, Oklahoma, and the Barcelona Olympic Games. No bravado, all business. Do you sometimes pinch yourself and say, oh, I'm Shannon Miller, I won five medals at the um, Olympic Games? Not too much. I, I don't look back, you know, at the Olympics too often. I mean, it was great, the experience and everything, and it was great to be there, and that's something that I'll take with me the rest of my life. But um, I'm also looking forward to the competitions ahead. 
How many days did you take off before you came back into the gym? Three. Three? Just three? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and whose idea was it to come back to the gym so quickly? <laughs> Yours? A little bit of both, me and Steve's. I didn't want to get too out of shape. Hardly missing a beat, Ready? Ready? she and coach Steve Pop Nuno up, did go back to the drawing board. A right, mere 12 right. one-thousandths of a point horse, stood between Steve, Shannon and, and the all-around gold at the Barcelona better. Games. Okay. No gold for Shannon, for but she did us? come home with a newly okay. won confidence. I, this double full. I think one of Shannon's biggest fulfillments of the Olympic Games was just proving her, herself to herself that she was a great one. Well, she's she, just turned 16. What do you envision the future? to be for Shannon Miller. Another Olympic Games? I believe so. I think that Shannon's going to be uh, a, a two-time Olympian. And, and I believe that she's going to be a two-time Olympic medalist. Would you like to be in the 96 Olympic Games? Yeah, I think that'd be great, especially since it's here in the United States. In Atlanta? Yeah. Do you really think you can hang on that long? I'm going to try. You'll be, Just what, 19? Yeah. But... An old lady? <laughs> no, I don't think so. Well, for Shannon Miller, the moment at these World Championships is now. Gina Gojian's score on the beam, a 9725. Shannon in fifth place will need more than a 9-8 on the floor to take the lead. This is the same music and same basic choreography as in Barcelona. But she has upgraded the difficulty in the tumbling and in the dance. Here's one of the areas she's upgraded. Three whip backs to a double twist. That's a new pass for Shannon. It's a double turn in the air. Again, more difficult dance we're seeing now. A very important landing coming up. She's performing another full twisting double back. Very difficult for Shannon. Yes. This is what we saw in preliminaries. Perfect landings, perfect presentation, and maybe a chance for her to relax a little bit, calm down and get ready for her final event. As you said, Bart, earlier, it's only one-tenth of a point from first place, so she's still very much in the game. In this pass, Shannon uses the three whipbacks in a row. Many people remember Kim Zemeskel, who used three whipbacks through to a double backflip. In this case, Shannon tumbles through to a double twist. And the judges are being very strict in terms of giving bonus points for the dance elements. Right here, she does a full turn into that leap, and she didn't get credit for it in the preliminaries. And this is the most difficult tumbling run you can do at the end of the routine, a full twisting double back, and she makes it nicely. And Shannon score a 9825. That is good enough to put her in the lead for the moment in the third rotation of the women's all around. <music> on the vault, Tatiana Lasenko, and she needs more than a 9813 to take the lead away from Shannon Miller. Lasenko performs one of the most difficult vaults ever done in women's gymnastics. This is a Yurchenko vault with a double twist. Very nicely done. She had that step on the landing. Even with that step, this vault is worth a maximum of 10.0, so there is incentive to go for the more difficult vault. It has to be clean, however. The deduction will only be a tenth of a point for this step, but keep in mind, they average both vault scores, so she must stick the second vault. And her score on the first vault, a 9787. She'll need to be better than that on this next vault. A lot of concentration necessary for this vault. Two twists in the air. Beautifully done. Better than the first.
little sigh of relief there. This vault was better. She had really tight body position, good push off the horse, which is important. But notice how straight her body is and cleanly she twists. The second vault score a 9862, and that makes the average score a 9824, and that is good enough to put Tatiana Lasinko in first place. This is an incredibly close competition. Dominique Dawes preparing for the floor exercise. Shannon Miller already thinking about the vault. And Dominique can go into the final rotation with the lead with a 975 or better here. Everywhere Dominique goes, she is a crowd pleaser, especially on this event. This is a great pass. Watch this. Double back at the end of all of that. Incredible. <laughs> With all this pressure, and she still looks like she's having a good time out there. You're right, Bart. If she's nervous, you certainly would never know it. Two and a half twist. Good landing. Awesome, Dawson, she certainly has been that today. And I think it's done it for her. At least the crowd certainly thinks so. You think she even knows she's winning the world championships? This pass is what she's really known for. It's very similar to what we saw Shannon Miller do. Just one less whip back there. But then she tags this onto the end. Round off three back hand springs to a double back. That's amazing. There it is. Dominique Dawes with a score of 9-8. Retains the lead after three rotations. Tatiana Lasinko in second. Shannon Miller in third. Gina Gojian in fourth. The top four still separated by less than a tenth of a point with one rotation left. and hard work are not enough. It takes mental toughness in a sport that demands perfection and the performance of a lifetime when it counts the most. In competition, Mary Lou needed a perfect landing and nothing less than a 10 to win the all-around in 1984. Kim Zameskel, with the eyes of the world upon her, made no mistakes on her way to the world all-around title. And Shannon Miller performed 16 out of 16 near-perfect routines for five medals in Barcelona. Mental toughness. The question is, will Shannon Miller have the mental toughness it takes today to win her first gold medal? Or will that title go to Dominique Dawes? Tatiana Lysenko is certainly in the running, as is Gina Gojian of Romania. Only a tenth of a point separate them. I think everyone is holding their breath at this moment. They know, Shannon knows, she must stick both vaults to have a chance to win this competition. And it will be an outside chance. Oh, there's the first one. Boy, that was a great landing. What's really beautiful about her landings it's so unique. She lands with her feet totally together. Most gymnasts land with them slightly apart and then slide them together as they stand. And the maximum value for this vault is a 9.8, and I don't think you can do it any better than that. Perfect form throughout, even when you look at it in slow motion. That is spectacular. Notice her toes are pointed. Who has time to think about that? This really shows Shannon's ability to handle pressure. 
she's feeling a lot of it right now. And when it comes down to one landing right here, and she can come up with it, she's still got it. Remember in Barcelona, she was in fourth place and she moved up to second place with her terrific vaults in the final round. Of course, in Barcelona, she wasn't expected to win. Here she has been expected to win all along. And Shannon Miller's score on the first vault, a 9-7-7-5. She wants this so much. Well, at least no matter what, she knows she has come up with what she needed to do, especially to feel good. Hello. That was a beautiful man. Hey. All right. That's the one. It's a very proud moment for all of them. She really did prove a lot to herself and I think to her coach, Steve Nuno, there, who's so proud of that. Under immense pressure, she came up with two brilliant vaults. That second vault score, a 9.8. The average score, a 9.787. That puts Shannon in the lead, but Tatiana Lysenko can move in front of Miller and into first with a 9.787 on the bars. Tatiana has had her share of bad luck in major competition, and quite often it's happened on this event. In fact, she actually, at the World Championships in Indianapolis, broke two of her fingers on a transition move down to the low bar. Beautiful release move, except she bent her legs upon the regress. She has a huge dismount coming up. Right here, double front with a half twist. Little hop back. Oh, oh, oh. And of course, when she made the regrasp on that front somersault, it looked as if she bent her, both her legs. She did have a slight form deduction. This is the best part of the exercise right here, however. This is a double front with a half twist, a strong finish, a very unusual dismount. You can tell by the look on her face, it's probably not enough to take the lead away from Shannon Miller. 9.725 will not do it. Shannon Miller can take a sigh of relief for now. But teammate Dominique Dawes still has a great shot for gold with a strong performance in her final event, the vault. Dominique Dawes needs to average more than a 9.725 to take the lead away from teammate Shannon Miller in the final event of the women's all-around. Keep in mind, we saw Shannon Miller perform two almost perfect vaults, but they were only worth 9.8 each. Dominique is doing two 10-0 vaults, so even if she takes a step, she can score higher, and most important, secure a position for a gold medal. Oh, big step. This was a risky but right move, because if she can land her second vault just a little bit better, she could still score high enough. This is a complicated vault because, as you mentioned, it's the Yurchenko style of vault, but she adds one half twist right there, landing forward, and it's very difficult to spot the landing. You don't see the ground until your feet are right on it. Here you can see on the landing, her head even goes back right as she lands. She's a little disoriented with the landing. The score on the first vault, a 9-7-1-2. Dominique needs a 9-7-3-7 or better on this vault for the lead. Very familiar position for Shannon Miller sitting on the sidelines to see if someone else can take her lead. That's heartbreaking. Oh. It's okay. You gave it a good shot. When did you ever think you would be in that position? You have to be happy with yourself. Be happy. Come on. You didn't ever think you would be that close, did you? Huh? Not for real. You can do it. Stand up and wave.
The score on the second vault, a 9-2-7-5. The average score, a 9-4-9-3. That puts Dominique in third place behind Miller and Lysenko. The only woman standing between Shannon Miller and a world all-around title is Romania's Gina Gojian. She needs a 9.812 here for the win. That is a very big score now with the new code of points. She scored a 9.737 during the preliminaries on this event. And today there's only been one score above 9.8. That was Shannon Miller's 9.825. So she is going to have to be right on. What a start. She does not have the elegance of a Shannon Miller. Every landing in this routine is critical. Ooh, a little stumble. The one thing that could cost her that skill she needed to earn bonus points on, if they take off more than two tenths, then she won't even get credit for the bonus and it will be more of a deduction. Again, if you compare it to Shannon, Shannon Miller finished her routine with a full twisting double bat. She only finished with a double bat. And a little stumble on that one dance element. But the other two landings of the tumbling passes were superb. I don't think she's going to get it. The routine was clean, but it just didn't seem to have the overall level of difficulty that we saw from someone like Shannon Miller. This first pass, however, was spectacular. This is the whip back through to the full in in the tuck position. If you remember, Shannon did it with her legs straight. That was a perfect landing, though. Bart, this is why I don't think she'll get it. She needs this skill right here for her bonus points, and because she has a deduction of two-tenths or more, you can see she bobbles and doesn't quite get all the way around. It's another tenth of a point off. The score for Gina Gojian, a 9.8. Good news for Shannon Miller. She is our winner. Gojian gets the silver. But bad news for Dominique Dawes, who misses out on the bronze medal. There's your new world all-around champion, Shannon Miller. Here are the final standings in the women's all-around. Shannon Miller is the second American to take the title. Kathy's backstage with her now. Shannon, congratulations. Champion of the world. What does that feel like? A great feeling, especially after Barcelona where I lost by so, you know, a little amount. It was great to be able to come back after, you know, having a little bit trouble starting out. Certainly turned out to be one of the most dramatic uh, competitions we've ever seen. A little shaky after the first two events. What were you telling yourself going into floor and vault? Um, mainly that I had to make, make sure that I nailed my routines and stuck the landings. And stick them she did on a day when most expected her to win easily. The margin of victory, only seven one thousandths of a point. Finally for Shannon Miller, the gold medal she so narrowly missed in Barcelona is hers. And for Dominique Dawes, a bittersweet day. In a million years, did you ever expect to be fourth in the world? Um, no, I was just trying to get better than I did in the Olympics, which was 26, and I did move up, so I'm really happy. People were so impressed with the way you handled the first three events. What were you telling yourself as you went to every event? Um, well, I was just trying to stay confident and positive about my thoughts, and that worked for those events.
Our congratulations to Shannon Miller. This victory makes her America's most decorated gymnast ever. For Bart Connor and Kathy Johnson, I'm Julie Moran. Goodbye from Birmingham.